of freedom of association, there is freedom of uh, expression. You members of the press have witnessed what, the, what this is all about. The trouble we have in this country for the time being is that we have a leadership that is very hypocritical. I want to repeat yeah. what President Edgar Chagolungu said. Yeah. We have a leadership in this country that's very hypocritical. Right. They go to platforms and say, in Zambia we introduced democracy. My foot, democracy was introduced in Zambia. Even with Kaunda there was democracy. There was one party participatory democracy. And nobody can claim to have introduced democracy in this country. They say that now there are no cadres. The ones who came to pelt our people here, who are they? Yeah. Are those gentlemen in suits? Where have they come from? If they are not cadres, then who are they? Are those the leaders of UPND who have come to pelt our people? Is it an offense for members of the Patriotic Front to come and see their president being arrested? What offense have they committed? Who did they injure? They gathered here, and they, in the presence of the police, they came and said pelting stones against our people. This shows you that we are in a crisis. We are in a country where people will tell you that this is white. In the night, they turn it black. They tell you in the morning that we are giving you freedom of expression. In the night, they send people to go and harass those who are expressing themselves. This is a hypocritical environment, and I cannot but agree with President Edgar Chagwalung. We go to bury Rupia Bwezanibanda, and we call him a Democrat. We call him a reconciliator. We forget that a few years ago we were saying we cannot support Rupia Banda because he's a corrupt man. That is hypocrisy of the highest order. So yes, this is hypocrisy. We're living in a country of hypocrites. So all of you citizens, I want to assure you, when you hear this leadership say one thing, don't take it for granted. They told you they're reducing fuel. What happened? I told you within a week they'll increase it, and indeed they did increase it. You must not buy because they say one thing in the night and do the opposite in the day. They say one thing in the day and do the opposite in the night. This you have seen for yourselves today. Thank you. What is the exact charge of the arrest? The charge of uh, five, five counts. All of them about my account having so much dollars here, so many dollars and so on. In one account, the same dollars are being counted and they are saying this is the proceeds of crime. So I want to go to court, so in court they can go and prove how it is proceeds of crime. How many people in Zambia have dollars in their accounts? How many? So we'll have to go and prove this in court. And I'm happy that it has happened because all the time I was walking the streets of Lusaka, just thinking people are thinking I'm a thief. Finally, they have given me an opportunity to go and prove in court that I'm clean. This is a good opportunity for me. And I've said before, friends of mine in the Patriotic Front, for them to come for me, you should know that no one is safe. All of us in the Patriotic Front, be ready, my brothers. Be ready. And when they call you to the police, please volunteer, go quickly, so that we can prove ourselves innocent. So that quickly, they'll have nothing else to talk about. Instead of fixing drugs in hospitals, they are calling us thieves. They have no drugs in the hospitals and saying they are no drugs because PF stole. How can that be? We left drugs in hospitals. Now they even use the expired drugs they give them to people. And now they don't even have any Panadol whatsoever in all these hospitals. What kind of government is this? They are spending time sending police here. Instead of those policemen going to guard the city market, going to guard places where criminals are, they are sending police officers to come and guard me. Am I a fugitive? Am I a treason suspect? I'm only being suspected of having money in my account. That's all. The fact that I had money in my account has become a, a, a crime. And for that, they bring police. This is the same reason why they're lining up police every day. Female police officers without any sanitation, they are lining up the streets to do what? To protect one individual. And yet that person is living in state house. He has refused to live in state house. He's exposing our female police officers to unsanitary conditions all in the name of him saying State House is not too good for him. And yet he was campaigning to go to State House. All the other presidents, six presidents before him, were willing to occupy State House except him. I can assure him that he too, his day is coming. He shall not be president of Zambia forever. Even if he attempts to amend the constitution to make himself like president of the country, like he made himself life president of the UPND, we shall not allow it. And one day, 
we shall remind him of Mpandla. Thank you. Thank you. So basically, it's five counts of being found in possession of our property suspected of the process of crime. So the first one relates to a house um, in the, uh, what's in the Kingsland. The second one relates to uh, $100,000. The third one relates to $50,000. The fourth one to $80,000 and so on. So it's basically being found in possession of property suspected in the process of crime. When is it like for the courts? Well, we, 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 we came here at, uh, at, at, at 14. This is, this is roughly about what time it's 16. Yeah, so we've been here all this time. I mean, when is it like for the courts? He's supposed to appear in court on the 21st of uh, April 2022. Thank you very much.